Hello and welcome back to the Rush 2 New Features course. During section 3, we created some nodes using the client library in C and Python. Now, let's begin with section 4 New Rust 2 features. In this section, we are going to cover the most remarkable differences with Rust 1, like security, lifecycle management, and real time coding. In this video, it's the turn to talk about security. Security is a vital important aspect to consider when developing a robot for any service or application. The threats that robots possess are much higher than the threats compared to security breaches. The attack on the computer may result in the data loss or identity theft. But what could happen in case of robots? We don't want to imagine. And to avoid any issue, we will be using Secure ROS2 because it provides the tools and instructions to use ROS2 on top of DDS security layer. The examples that we are going to cover in this course are two, a single machine with secure connection and access control. If you want to enable security in your own packages, you should enable the CMake flag security. Let's create our own environment, creating first DS ROS2 directory. For that, let's create first. Now, let's create the directory. Now, inside this folder, we have to create or generate the key store. For that, we are going to execute ROS2 security, create key store, and the name of the new folder. So, this is the command. And we can see this is the key store. And we can see that inside we have some keys. Now we have to generate keys and certificates for some specific nodes. This will be talker and listener nodes. As you can see in this command, we are creating a key, specifying the key store. Then let's do the same with listener. And we will see these new folders. Then, before running the example, we need to enable or to set these new environment variables. So first, we set the ROS security root directory pointing to the key store, and then we enable the ROS security enable flag. Now, in order to test the example, let's run a talker and a listener. Since the example requires two windows to run both nodes, we need to define these flags that we created before in both places. So on the left we have the talker and you can see found security directory and then we execute the listener found security directory and we can successfully communicate both. But what happens now if we change the name of the talker node, for example, one of these nodes, we only are enabled to use a node with some specific name. So if we change, let's see what happened. Let's first stop this and run the same example, but changing the node name. And as we can see, it didn't detect any security information. And this listener is not detecting the topic. Both have the same topic name, but they are not being able to communicate because of these security reasons. The previous demo used authentication and encryption, but not access control, which means that any authenticated node would be able to publish and subscribe to any data stream, also known as topic. To increase the level of security in the system, you can define a strict limits known as access control, which restrict what each node is able to do. For example, one node would be able to publish to a particular topic, and another node may be able to subscribe to that topic. To do this, we will use the same policy file provided in an XML file example. This example is here, so let's execute this first command. In the key store, let's call this to pull 
the policies. And now we will use it to generate the XML permission files expected by the middleware. We will do this for both nodes, talker and listener. And now let's do the same with the listener. Now let's test this example. Let's run again the talker and listener nodes using the same terminals. We see that in this particular case, there is an error in this example of ROS2. And it, this is expected because the ROS versions changed. So I encourage you to try to understand and fix this example. But this usually happens because security is still a feature in progress. So this will change quickly.